DI Grow Organic Plus Foliar Fertilizer. Your number one eco-friendly fertilizer is brought to you with the compliments of Dynalab International Zambia Limited. Why DI Grow, you may ask? Well, it improves productivity by 70% and increases yield by 30 to 300%. So, buy DI Grow. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to the Perfect Health Show. Now, the Perfect Health Show is brought to you by Dynalab. We hope you're enjoying your holiday wherever you may be right now and we hope you're enjoying it responsibly. So today we have been joined by Manek Singono, who is no stranger to the show. He's like the main agronomist on this show and he comes through every week to let us know about um, the products that Dynalab has to offer, the, the, the products that you can use to see to it that you have that perfect and healthy crop good morning uh manex good to have you here how's your monday good morning hope and uh, it's nice to, to be with you have you said those prayers today it's very important yeah i mean uh, it's it's a day of prayer today mm, mm. but uh, we we do have prayers every day very important yeah, it's a lifestyle very important yeah. like how many times does the president say very important like several two. times very important <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we looking at today? I know last week we were looking at uh, DI Grow Red, a bit on, uh, we touched on the green as well. So, um, and uh, well, when it, when it comes to plants, we haven't really zoomed yeah. into, you know, the planting of a particular plant. Did mm. I get it right there? A crop, yeah. A crop, yes. Yeah. So what are we looking at today? Uh, so today we're just going to be looking at um, how to produce uh, soybeans using DI Grow Green and Red. Soya beans, soy soybean. Is it soybean or soya bean? Yeah, soya beans or soya soybean. Yeah, because sometimes I see it's written somewhere soybean. Soy so bean I think to myself, is, is this something different? Is soybean different from <laughs> it's, 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 soya beans? It's basically the same thing. It's the same thing. It yeah. reminds me of my secondary school teacher. Mm. You know, each time we grappled with little things like that, he mm. said, "Well, it depends on the." on the structure of the mouth and the dental formula. Yeah, and here in Zambia, <laughs> I think we have soya beans. <laughs> All right, so let's talk. Uh, one thing that I've learned from you yeah. uh, from the past shows is that um, crops do have a certain type of relationship with a certain type of soil. Mm -hmm. So in the case of soybean, what type of soil works well for soybean? Well, the best soil for soybean, soybean production is uh, loam soil. Loam soil. No, there are different soil types out there. Yeah, what's loam soil? There, there are sandy soils, there are sandy loamy soils, mm. and also clay loam and um, uh, coarse sand, you know, all those things. Mm. But soybean does well in loam soils. Now, a loam soil is a loam that is a soil that has a combination of different particles. Okay. It's got some clay particle. It has sealed as well as sand. Mm. So that combination is what makes that soil mm. loamy and it's the best soil for soybean. Mm. Yeah. All right. So uh, does soybean yield properly in all soil types? You know, I know you've mentioned yeah, the, the yeah. loam soil, but uh, yeah, for mm. other soil types. Well, not, not in all soil types. Mm. In loamy soils, yes, it will yield very well. Because those are best soils. Okay. Yeah, but in sandy soils, there's a challenge there. Mm. What is the challenge? The challenge is that uh, a sandy soil has larger, uh, so uh, I mean, pore spaces, mm. and so when it's raining, whatever fertilizer is on the ground does leach down below the root zone. Okay. It gets washed down, it leaches down the soil, and so the roots of the soybean crop are not able to access the nutrients because of the pore spaces, but uh, a loamy soil is nicely uh, built. Mm. There's no leaching, it holds the nutrients and also keeps the moisture levels optimal for the growth of the crop. Okay. Yeah, so in terms of soil type, soil being will do best, to yield the best in, in mm. loam soils. Okay, so having said that, um, let's also look at, you know, what time is best to plant when can I plant soybean? Well, soybean can be planted uh, with the first rains. We always advise farmers to plant where it's so soybean uh, with the first good rains. Uh, in October, Not just one. It rained, was it last week? Yeah, so I just last week. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, from that time mm. 
to date there's no rainfall mm. and so that's a risk to your seed and to your investment so you can only plant soybean with a very uh, first good rains mm. and uh, planting can go on uh, from that point up to at least 15th December okay. because if you plant beyond 15th December it means you are late and you know with these climatic changes mm. that have occurred because of so several factors if you plant late it means uh, and depending also in the region where you are cultivating from mm. particularly when you are growing your soybeans in region one some parts of southern province mm -hmm. um, areas of Luangwa and also western province where they receive less than 600 millimeters of rainfall mm -hmm. rains there start late and they go early mm, so, you so if you plan. plant mm. if you plant late it means your soybean won't grow okay okay no, thanks for that information so let's get to the fertilizers now. Um, last week we looked at DI Grow Red. I remember we were looking at DI Grow Red. Mm -hmm. We also looked at DI Grow Green. So which one, which one of the two, the DI Grow Red? I know you have all these fertilizers at Dynalab. So which one works well for soybean? Both of them. Both of them. The green and the red. Okay, in terms of application? Yeah, application you start with the green. Mm -hmm. um, starting with the green means you can even soak the seed with it mm. so you always start with the green yes you start with the green okay yeah even in in the use of other fertilizers like d compound and, and urea mm -hmm. farmers always start with the green so oh. d is a base of fat which is applied just before planting mm. and the urea would be applied either to grow the crop more vegetatively just before flowering mm. fruiting yeah so even with our fertilizers the green one is used in the initial stages of of, of either be prior to planting or when the seed has germinated mm. yeah. and in terms of dosage in terms of dosage both fertilizers the diagro green and red can be used at five mils to a liter of water okay. five mils for farmers that are using 16 liter sprayers they need to put about eight mils those using 15 liter sprayers, they need 75 mils. And those using 20 liter sprayers, they need to put 100 mils. Mm. Now, last week I learned that you can soak the seed, that was the maize seed before planting for about 24 hours. 12 and, hours. 12 hours, yeah. yes. And you mentioned that um, before planting, see, I'm a very good student, huh? Mm -hmm. you, need to <laughs> you need to wait for the, is it the moisture? What, what were your words there? from the seeds yeah you when, when, after soaking for a period mm -hmm. before planting you remove the seed from the solution mm -hmm. and put it on a, either a sack or a plastic or a card box mm -hmm. and allow for moisture to evaporate oh, see, see, see i remember so there was something to do with moisture there yeah, yeah so <laughs> um yeah so in, in terms of soybean mm -hmm. for how long can i sock it in the in uh, in the fertilizer well soybean seed is quite delicate it's different from for maize it's not hard seed so soaking can be between 30 to 45 minutes only 30 to 45 yeah and i can even plant afterwards yeah. oh okay sure why is that the case you want to avoid uh, the seed getting uh, broken because when it mm. gets too tender the coat is weaker mm. and so even during handling when it is soaked for too long just handling the seed it starts to break on its own mm. the coat uh, no i get uh, it being uh, removed or so yeah okay no i'll tell my my people from my village sure, sure. to stop soaking for one hour <laughs> because sometimes the reasoning there is no the longer it stays in yeah. you know the better yeah. the result yeah. so okay thanks for clarifying that so how many liters of both how many liters of both um di grow green and red are needed to produce um a crop of soybean per hectare you know how many liters do i need there what we, a farmer needs is basically two liters of diagro green mm. and four liters of diagro red. Now, the two liters of diagro green will do the work three times when the farmer is spraying once every two weeks okay. from the point when the crop has three, four leaves. Mm. He only needs two liters. Now, how, how is that two liters achieved per, per hectare of diagro green? When the crop is at three, four leaf stage, Hmm. It is small, and then the farmer only requires about 0.4 somewhere there of a liter to complete a hectare to spray the entire hectare when the crop is at three four leaf stage. Mm -hmm. After two weeks, the content that had remained about 0.6 of this can now complete a hectare because the crop has also grown a bit after two weeks, mm -hmm. meaning that the 
one one liter is used to do two activities once every two weeks okay. now when the crop comes to the sixth week it has relatively grown again so the entire liter should be able to complete a hectare mm. so uh, th this is what completes the thought that di grow one liter can complete one hectare in a single spray when the crop is at six weeks mm. so two liters should be able to do three sprays okay. once every two weeks and then at flowering stage the crop now has grown that's about four weeks plus depending also on the variety because you know they, in terms of varieties they are early maturing varieties and medium and those that are long uh, or late maturing varieties so around the fl flowering time the crop has grown and perhaps it is even formed a lot of leaves and canopies and so forth. Uh, you need two liters of DI Grow Red to complete one hectare. However, for soya beans, you need to apply the red one twice. So, meaning you need four liters. Okay. You need about four liters to do two sprays. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So, um, why are DI Grow uh, foliar fertilizer sprays significant in soybean uh, cultivation? You know, there's been this belief that uh, legumes don't need nitrogen. Yeah, we, we just think. Yeah, that we grew they... up like that. Even from the school, the school point of view, we 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 learned that uh, uh, legumes fix their own nitrogen. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's what I know. Yeah, they, I'm not trying to dispute. Uh, Mm. Uh, those issues but to what extent mm. do legumes fix their own nitrogen mm -hmm. so in this case we are discussing soybean it's only about 20 to 25 percent of nitrogen that these legumes are able to fix oh. in the soil through the root nodules or rhizobia bacteria because it's the responsibility of that bacteria to to trap the atmospheric nitrogen and fix it into the soil into usable nitrates mm -hmm. that a plant needs but then it's just about 20 to 25 percent so where that's not enough. so where does the 75 percent come from yeah so the 75 percent of nitrogen must come from these foliar sprays mm. to boost the crop to give it a higher vegetative growth that translate into more flowers and then more pod formation mm. and a higher yield Mm. Yeah, so farmers need DI grow for such a robust uh, crop growth. Very important, very important, very important. How many times did I say it? Three, Three times. times. <laughs> well, in case you would love to get your hands on any of these products, in case you're getting into farming, uh, farming of soybean. Well, farming is not just about maize. And I know sometimes the focus for so many is maize, maize, mm. maize, maize, but diver uh, diversification is the word, right? So if you're getting into soybean or soya beans <laughs> farming, <laughs> Dynalab is here for you. You need these products. It's very important that you get your hands on these products so that you get that health the yield all right so manex where does one get or find these products the di grow green the di grow red well uh, these products can be accessed in our shops we have about five shops around lusaka at our hq here in rodsburg uh, plot number 26 uh, joseph miller road we have a center we have a center at uh, limbe complex just near the town center in cairo road we have another shop at Arcades, a shopping complex, another one at um, Elwanika Mall in Woodlands. We have uh, two other shops, uh, this side of uh, the southern side, are just after the cafe roundabout at um, uh, Canele House and also opposite at downtown uh, complex. Outside Lusaka, we are yeah, in, it's we not are, just Lusaka, yeah, right? we are in several other uh, provinces. Uh, in Northern Province, you can get us on uh, in Mansa and Kasama. We are in Ndola and uh, Kitwe on the Copper Belt. We are in Chipata, Eastern Province. In Southern, we are in Choma, Monze, and Livingstone. In Western Province, we are in Mongu. In Northwestern, we are in Solwezi. We are in also Mumbwa and Kawe. Okay, great. Yeah. And well, what I know is obviously some, it's not all about you know just walking in and getting the product. You need the information as well. So in terms of information, how does well, that in work? terms of information, if they want to get it directly, uh, they can contact me uh, for technical information on zero nine seven seven four zero five five three one, 
0977-405531 or they can contact the front uh, office at, uh, on uh, 0211-232377 or they can visit our Facebook uh, page uh, Danalab uh, Zambia or they can visit our website. Okay, yeah. alright, before I let you go, anything else that you would love to share? Well, just want to uh, say that uh, uh, all would-be farmers and those that are already farming, please keep on following us every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday so that we can give you valuable information that can enhance your farming. And please visit us anytime for uh, even those that have never ventured. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to help you to plan and be become uh, uh, Successful a, a productive <laughs> and successful farmer. True. Yeah, sure. All right, so Manex, thank you so much. It's a holiday, so I know you have activities to get back to as well. Otherwise, sure. enjoy the rest of your day. Sure, thank you so much. All right, so this is all we had for you on today's episode of The Perfect Health. Join us on Wednesday. Enjoy your holiday.